What's up everybody? This is Oscar Alcala, DP and cinematographer for Sammy's Camera. And today we've got an awesome video looking at the Canon XF605. Now we have done a video in the past going over full specs and details of this camera. And if you guys wanna check that out, we'll go ahead and link it down below so you guys can take a look at that. But today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys my thoughts of this camera. Now, Canon was able to give this camera to us uh, the second time around because the first time we weren't able to shoot any footage with it, unfortunately, but we made sure that we followed your guys' request uh, to show footage of this. So I took this camera out with my crew and we showed up at the Cars and Coffee meet at Malibu, uh, and we got some great footage to show. So let's go ahead and roll that footage. Ready? Okay, so the great thing about auto shows is finding the exotic cars, and not everyone's idea of exotic is the same. Take this Jeep, for instance, this is one that's really caught my eye. Haha, <laughs> well, amazing. Properly interesting. It's, a, it's an original Willys, I think, with some um, weight reduction, lovely bit of weight reduction, and looking very, very cool. Definitely see a theme in my personal interest at the show. Over here we have a Land Rover, I think it's a Mark II, I want to take a look at that. Well, that really is very authentic. I mean, I just, you can't beat the authenticity of the originality of these vehicles. I suppose really I should look at other things apart from beating up old Jeeps, right? So maybe, um, well, it's almost a beating up old Jeep. Let's take a look at this Bronco, really catching my eye. On that, I guess, yeah. soak that one up. Done very well, isn't it? I mean, that is how a resto mod is done. Look at that thing, just beautiful. We have a full one inch SEMO sensor, uh, and that is paired with great autofocusing system. We've got eye autofocus in the camera itself. And one of my favorite features uh, is the built-in variable ND filters. Uh, it's really nice to not have to screw anything into the front of your camera. Um, but more importantly, it's great to be able to dial it in on the fly and not have to mess with, uh, you know, turning rings in front of your camera, etc. So one of my other favorite features of this camera was the lens itself. Uh, we're given a 25.5 to 382.5 full frame equivalent lens. And the aperture is a 2.8 to 4.5. One of my favorite parts as well was I can dial in the zoom functionality. We do have a 15 times zoom uh, functionality on the lens itself. And you can use that with the top handle as well as the side grip. Um, and the cool thing about this is that in the menu system, you can actually uh, set your zoom speeds uh, independent of each other, which I thought was really nice in case you're running and gunning. So some of the other features on this camera that I do appreciate Canon including is number one, the dual memory card slots. Now this is a really nice feature to have and something that I think all uh, professional cameras should have right now and the ability to be able to shoot uh, simultaneously on the cards as well as to relay on the cards if you need backup redundancy, which is typically my case and the way that I set up my dual card slots. But if we were shooting an event where we had to push out uh, some media that same day, I am able to record a separate format on the second card, maybe a lower resolution or proxy files, uh, making it really uh, nice and essential for a quick workflow. And one of the other features that I really liked about this camera and that I'm not used to because we are typically shooting uh, on uh, DSLR style cameras nowadays um, is the battery life. Having that BP830 battery made it really nice and honestly, I didn't have to think about battery life for uh, pretty much the extent of our shoot. Uh, I think we lost maybe one notch of battery life uh, and we were probably shooting for a good two hours. Um, and that's huge to have uh, something that it's gonna be really nice for anybody shooting, uh, you know, events or maybe for um, documentaries. Uh, 
Uh, one of the other features to mention, and I know this is very important because in my time here as a salesman at Sammy's Camera Behind the Counter, I would get a lot of people doing deposition work. And one of the features that's crucial and ominously you have to have when you are doing that kind of work is a burnt in time code or time and date stamp, which this is one of the first Canon cameras that will do that for you. So if you are doing deposition work, this is the camera to get, uh, unless you're picking up something a lot older <laughs> with a lot less resolution. All right guys, so that's a brief overview of the features that I really like in this camera. But like I said, my overall experience with this camera was fantastic. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've shot with an all-in-one camera like this, a, a really nice professional camcorder. Hope you enjoyed this video and we had a really fun time making it. I'm glad that Canon was able to send this XF605 to us for a second time to be able to show you guys the footage we got with it. Uh, but if you guys like what you see, please feel free to hit that like button and make sure you guys have subscribed because we are putting brand new content out every Wednesday and, you know, stay tuned and see what we have next. But that's it for us today, guys. This is Oscar Alcala. Take care. Peace.